Hello and welcome. I am Gimba Umar. Tonight, more sympathizers besiege the residence of the late Minister of State for Labour, James Sucholi, in Abuja. EFCC arranged former Chief of Defence Staff, Air Chief Marshal Alex Bade, on 10 counts of corruption. And court grants federal government permission to shield its witnesses in the trial of Namdi Kano in the case of alleged treason. And the European Union leaders in crucial talks with Turkey over the migrants' crisis, described as Europe's worst since World War II. And on business news tonight, latest CBN data indicates lower GDP growth for the first quarter of 2016. And in sports news, AFN picks 17 athletes to represent Nigeria at the World Indoor Championships in Oregon, United States. trial of former lawmaker Farouk Lawan continues in the case of alleged $620,000 bribery. Stay with us. We begin tonight on a low as the presidential villa has been in a sober mood as small reactions continue to pour in following the death of the Minister of State for Labour, Barrister James Ocholi, his wife and son, in a ghastly motor accident. Minister of Foreign Affairs, Geoffrey Onyema, describes him as a fabulous human being and one of the friendliest in the Cabinet. The Special Advisor to the President on Media and Publicity, Mr Femi Adishina, describes the death as a terrible tragedy. It's an indescribable shock, an absolute catastrophe, um, and it's difficult to find words that can express uh, the sheer shock and pain, um, the profound pain that we all feel at this particular moment. Um, pain on so many levels. First and foremost, the Honourable Minister was a fabulous human being, a, a truly wonderful human being, amongst the friendliest people you can ever meet. And um, so it is a tremendous loss um, on that human uh, uh, level. Of course, on the professional level, um, he was had tremendous intellectual capacity. His contributions in the Federal Executive Council you know, were always incisive. And, and so the country and the government um, have really, has really suffered a, a terrible, terrible, terrible loss. A pall of grief over the place, and uh, you can feel the soberness and somberness in the atmosphere. Everybody believes that this is a terrible tragedy. Uh, Mr. President paid great tribute to the departed as I spoke with him, tracing their relationship from their CPC days to the role he played in the APC major, all the sacrifices he made and all that yeah, and uh, we, 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 he just concluded that it's a tragedy of monumental proportions uh, the late Ucholi will be given his dues he was an active member of that council I recall the last meeting that uh, me and him still shared some laughters after the meeting because he said something that was particularly hilarious and uh, we had a good time to laugh and when I heard of the tragedy yesterday that was what came to my mind that at our last meeting. So you can be sure that on Wednesday the council will pay him adequate tribute. Yes, but while staff of the Federal Minister of Labour on Product and Employment in Abuja are also mourning the late Minister of State for Labour. The Minister of Labour and Employment, Senator Chris Ngige, also describes the death of the Minister as a huge loss to the Federal Government. A condolence register has been opened at the Ministry and the Abuja residence of the late minister, where dozens of sympathizers are condoling with the family. Uh, the mood in this ministry is that of uh, unbelievable shock, because uh, nobody saw it coming. Nobody would have also believed that it's possible. Uh, but uh, 
We saw it happen yesterday, and it has happened. And we woke up this morning, and it's still true. So we are here. We are not working today in this ministry. There is uh, low activity, a sort of uh, uh, sort of uh, tribute in solidarity with our fallen colleague. As you know, this ministry is a uh, labor ministry, an employment ministry. So we are in charge of work, workers, and uh, everybody that also employs people. And for the little period, two of us have stayed here. The labor industry knew that we were here. They know also that Ocholi was a big uh, contributor to whatever little success we have achieved now. The Minister of Labour and Employment, Dr. Chris Ngige, indeed will join us much later on the News at 10 to have a more insight on the very tragic death of the Minister of State for Labour and Employment. The National Executive Committee of the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, has fixed the 21st of May 2016 for the party's national convention, which is expected to produce a new leadership for the party. The convention, the party adds, will hold in Port Hackett, the River State capital. The party, after an extensive deliberation today, also approved the timetable for the party's congresses. In a communique released and signed by its national chairman, Senator Ali Modu Sharif, the party condemns what the party says is the incessant harassment, maltreatment and unlawful incarceration of the PDP leaders at various levels of government-controlled law enforcement and prosecution agencies. Five days after the SA Oruru's safe reunion with her family in Yenogwa, the Bayelsa State Capital, she's yet to go to her family house. The Bayelsa State Commissioner of Police, who spoke with our correspondent, explains that SA will continue to stay at the Bayelsa State Police Office mess, as, uh, officer's mess as long as the case is under investigation to ensure her safety. In the meantime, Yunusa, the prime suspect in the SA Oruru's abduction saga, is now in the police custody in Yenogwa. Although he's yet to be arraigned in court, he has already given his statement to the police. The Commission of Police, Peter Ogunso, told Channels Television that another com accomplice to the crime is still at large. I can assure you that uh, efforts are on to ensure that he's prosecuted. Uh, because it's expected to be prosecuted by the, at the Federal High Court. There are procedures that have to be taken, that, have to, that we have to go through. Already the IG has sent a procedure from Abuja, from Fort CID, who has been here since last week. And as I'm talking to you, I believe they are, the, they are in court now to file uh, charges and proof of evidence to enable the Federal High Court to give them a date for arraignment. And as soon as a date is gotten, Unisa will appear in court. She was at the government house last week, sometime last week, and the governor actually promised that he's going to see that they, they, they try and look for a two-bedroom apartment for the parents because he actually wants them to move away from that environment. Well, the nation is still in shock over the tragic death of the Minister of State for Labour and Employment, Mr. James Ocholi his wife, and indeed his son. As many Nigerians ponder over the tragedy, one man who has worked almost on a daily basis with the late minister is Dr. Chris Ngege, the substantive minister of labor and employment. He joins me now on the News at 10 to tell us more about the man, James Ocholi, and his work uh, ethics. We want to thank you so much indeed for coming on the News at 10. Uh, tell us, what was your reaction to the news when you heard that this brilliant, described as the best, one of the best ministers has passed on to greater glory. Yeah. Um, what else can I say? It was a disbelief. I didn't believe it. 
Because uh, about uh, four weeks ago, there was a rumor that I collapsed uh, the National Assembly uh, during a budget defense and that uh, I was taken to the hospital and uh, people could not say whether I was still alive or not. So I now say it's the same uh, social media people and uh, the antics. Uh, so I didn't take it serious until uh, I got uh, calls from security agencies and I had to make arrangements to see if I can get to Kaduna. But on the way, the Minister of State for Health called me uh, and we spoke and he said he was a national hospital and that this, the, the story was true and that uh, they were waiting for the remains. So I had to join them at National Hospital and started talking to our people in Kaduna. It turned out to be true, but I also said it's a bad dream that I'm dreaming. Yeah. And uh, from one thing to the other, it, it became true. I can see that uh, you James are badly, actually, you, you are indeed badly shaken as we are also uh, on the demise oh, yes. of, of the minister. But mm. could you tell us what kind of a man he is, what he stood for? James is a man of many parts. He's a lawyer, he's a scholar, he's a politician, is a public servant of uh, distinguished repute, a good family man, a good Christian. So anything that is uh, in the superlative, you, you can use it to qualify James. He doesn't uh, put his hand in anything he doesn't do well. So, when we were paired to work in the ministry, I had known him during the days of uh, uh, their graduation and their call to bar. He was contemporary of my junior brother, Mekang Gigesan. And um, it was in politics that I actually came close to him. He was a member of the major committee of the APC early 2013 and we were in the same committee, committee on the drafting of the party's constitution. From there, I noticed that James was a man who likes work. He likes to work all the time. You, you give him work, he finishes it, he's asking for more. It, which, which is very un-Nigerian. We don't get it in many Nigerians. Yeah. You, you are close to his family. And, uh, we got, could you tell we us, got, could you tell us, you are close to his family. Any plans for his, uh, the rest of his family, for instance? Oh yes, we have a, a National Burial Committee which uh, Mr. President has put in place headed by uh, the secretary to the state, go to the federal government, uh, uh, Engineer Babacha Lawal. Uh, we have about five other ministers who are members and uh, representative of uh, Kogi state government. Uh, one thing we are sure is that the president being a very loving and caring man who never forgets his friends and those who have worked with him. Uh, he has already made uh, it clear to the committee that, that uh, the government will take care of the family. I'm afraid that we're going to have to leave it at that. Uh, the, the Minister of, the, of uh, Labor of lives, and Employment, and, uh, take care Dr. Them. Chris Ngege. I want to thank you so much indeed as we sympathize also with the rest of Nigerians for the demise of the f late Minister of State for Labor and Employment. In part two, after the break, 
We'll take a look at the ways of ensuring increased safety on our roads. The co-marshal of the FRHC will join us to discuss this. Stay with us.